Hi, I'm Micha Huber and we are here in Switzerland. The village is called Turbental. I am the owner of High Fiction AG and High Fiction AG owns the three brands Thales Tonam, EMT and Exquisite. We are manufacturer of very famous analog audio equipment. Here you see the building where the production is. So we are in the second floor. All second floor is for our production. We are inside the building now on the second floor and this is our production area. You see here the place for packaging and shipping. I do have a laboratory place here to, to do research. We have two, two, three places for turntable assembling. We have one place for tone arm assembling. At the very end of the building you see the cartridge assembling place. And on the right hand side of the building we do have um, some machining, some offices, quality, con quality control for cartridges as well as our own sandblasting area. We are here at the CAD working place where uh, all the engineering is done. We have uh, an example here how to come from an idea to a final product and I will guide you through the different steps. First is the idea coming from the market or from ourselves to say okay it, it makes sense to have a new product. In our case we are talking about the new Exquisite cartridge. Exquisite is our top of the line um, cartridge products with a very special ceramic transducer. Um, the current models feature quite low output and high impedance specs because they have an ironless transducer. Now from the market the goal was to have a cartridge that is um, easier to connect to any kind of phono stage, so it doesn't need a specific step-up transformer or something um, um, really special, but one with a higher output voltage and lower impedance. So the technical specs were given basically from the market. We need a XQC cartridge with high output voltage that is um, possible with an iron core. So we have some iron cores around the ceramic transducer. Another idea coming from more ourselves internally, we saw that still today some end users, they prefer to have their cartridge um, on the turntable running without any body. So they prefer to have the cartridge, what they call naked. They have it uh, very technical without any body, any frame. And uh, many of them think that sounds better if they use their cartridge without any body. And the idea was to create a cartridge body um, that is very open. So we have two advantages, the body itself has a positive influence on the resonance behavior because it's a material mix. Um, but we have it skeletized. You can see that now in the current picture on the computer. So the airborne energy, the airborne um, sound coming from the speakers will not affect the body so much. I will show you some details of the cartridge now. This is um, now the finalized CAD drawing of uh, the new product. You can see here, red marked now, the body. I can hide it. So you can see the inside of the cartridge. We have very visible in, in silver color the magnet. We have the big black part, which is the holder. We have the connecting pins. 
and we have the small black part that is the transducer with a stylus at the very end. We see here the main parts of a cartridge. They are completely machined and the surface treatment is done, so that means all parts are in condition before we start final assembling. We have here the holder that is machined from aluminum. It's a quite complex um, milling part that is um, manufactured in uh, Switzerland. It's done on CNC machine with a um, robotic um, operation. And in rough condition, it's delivered to us, high fiction, and we do the surface treatment so the part um, looks like we want it uh, to be. We see here the magnet parts, also very rare in uh, cartridge manufacturing. All the magnet parts from us are fully machined, so it's not a made of um, sheet metal or plinth, it's uh, fully machined from solid Armco material, which is a very customized magnetic um, uh, material. You see here the front pole shoe, the rear pole shoe, and the pole cylinder where the transducer is mounted in. We see here this uh, novelty of the new product that we're going to launch uh, later this year. This is a ceramic body. It's uh, 3D printed um, and then goes through several processes. So it's a very rigid and hard ceramic structure. We see here, I put my finger so you have the size, the very heart of um, each cartridge. This is the transducer unit. Also very rare in a cartridge manufacturing, we produce the complete transducer in-house. So the stylus is mounted to the cantilever. The iron plate in this case are mounted on the coil former. We mount the string, we mount the small clutch to, uh, for the holdback. And this um, whole transducer unit has to be assembled under the microscope with a um, high magnifying size, so you can see what you do. Some of the um, geometrics are aligned very, very precise to each other, so this is a very small but really high precision assembly. Finally, we have the connection terminal consisting of the connection pins and a small plastic part. This makes possible to connect the cartridge to the tone arm wiring. We are here at the um, coil um, manufacturing site. So what you see here in general is um, the lady doing the um, coil. And you see a winding machine here. These winding machines are also produced at high fiction, so we had to produce our own machines. And you see here a speciality of EMT cartridges. The coil is wound on an iron plate. And it's done the way that always the wire is geometrically adjusted. So it's not um, a coil that is wound on a cross, but the coil that is wound on a square plate and uh, must be done very, very precisely. The plate itself that you see is a square of two millimeters.
Each working place for cartridges consists of two places. One is for winding coils and the other one is for assembling um, the final, doing, do the final assembling of the cartridge. So you mount the transducer into the magnet and all the um, wiring is soldered to the connection pins. This is the pre-assembling pace for uh, cartridge holders. So what uh, Raul is doing here is um, having the aluminum holder and assembling the magnet, magnet unit into that holder. This is our measurement room. That's where we do all the final adjustment uh, for each cartridge. You can see here the working space. It's a turntable where you can place the cartridge on and quickly disconnect and reconnect it for adjustment reasons. We do have uh, our own software that shows the measurement result. So that means we can take some measurement from the LP, we can see them on the different screens and we can evaluate um, what correction is needed to the cartridge. So right now she's taking a stereo signal showing left and right channel with quite high um, channel imbalance right now. So that means here the azimut must be adjusted. We can see left and right channel on their own to evaluate the different crosstalk values. We have an analog oscilloscope on top, so we always see the current signal especially to detect um, trackability errors. Once the measurement is taken, she readjusts the cartridge, for example, the hardness of the suspension, the azimut, the air gap, so that the 
perfect result will appear once the adjustment has been completed. Mostly these uh, measurement cycles take several times, so you need three to five cycles depending on uh, all the adjustments. And when all the adjustment has been completed, all specs of the cartridge are within uh, narrow tolerance. For some cartridges, we also run a double measurement cycle, that means we do a pre-adjustment, we let the cartridge rest for two to five days and do another final adjustment after the resting time. Here we see the cartridges in progress. The ones looking at this side have been adjusted already. The other ones at the upper blister now, they are looking to the left, so they are waiting for adjustment service. Also in this room we do have a measurement site for turntables. The impressive thing here is a very, very heavy table that is more than 300 kilograms floating on springs. And this allows us to take speed constancy and especially rumble and noise measurements with almost no influence from the building. Also here all measurement is taken by uh, specific software and with our own measurement record. This is the assembling site for TALIS tone arms. What you can see here are all parts for the TALIS statement tone arm. So we have some uh, ruthenium plated parts, we have some nickel parts and they are all mechanically and from the surface all completed, all processes are completed. So all these parts are ready for to be assembled. Here is the final assembling process. That means we do have uh, countless pre-assembling processes. All bearings need to be assembled, all small units screwed together. The, there are several um, very specific gluing processes. So all uh, pre-assembles are completed, then the final assembling means that the arm tubes will be mounted into the bearings and at the very um, as the very last process is the internal wiring of the tone arm pulled through the tone arm tube. This is our small workshop. We have some machines here. All our uh, parts for the products are produced on machines from external suppliers. They are in general produced on most modern CNC machines. What we have here is more traditional manual machines. We use them for processes needed after assembling. We also use them to build prototypes during development phase and we use them to build our own tools. So what Max is doing here is a special tool that is needed to assemble the feet of the new EMT turntable.
We run our own sand and pearl blasting procedure. So that means all parts come in rough condition from machining. That's how they look like. And then with uh, several processes of um, blasting them on the air pressure, we achieve a nice and glossy surface. And uh, very important for us is that all parts look the same, no matter on which machine they have been produced. During development process, um, a lot of measurement and listening is involved because we must see on one side objective how the new product or the latest development um, measures. And of course we need to know um, about the sound, what is the effect on the sound. So that means in all these uh, processes Many times we do measure, we listen again, we measure, we do some modification. What I'm doing now is uh, like a final check on this cartridge that has been adjusted and running now for 25 hours in, in uh, 25 hours listening and we do a readjustment of the cartridge now and listen again. I do the azimut setting with the crosstalk values. So as we can see here, the crosstalk values are perfect, identical on the 31 dB. There was no changes. Regarding this, I can check the channel balance, which is better than 0.5 dB. That's perfect as well. And I can che check the trackability on these. Seventy microns are perfect. Eighty microns are good as well. And with 90 microns, we should have some distortion correct, as we can see. So I'm now objectively sure that this cartridge um, measures well and can go over to the listening process. Road that train. That train. One night I held infinities Secret beauty in my hand But as I woke it slipped away And crumbled into sand I'm Micha Huber I'm the founder and owner of High Fiction AG and to this um, company belong three brands it's Thales Tonam, it's EMT and it's Exquisite When I was very young I was really really interested into both technique and music so even when I was 15 16 the question was always for me will I continue doing music I'm playing the flute or will I do a technical job 
Then I decided for the technical side, I did an apprenticeship. Um, that's a very common way in Switzerland. You do an apprenticeship, that means you are working three days in a company and you have two days of school training you in the basic skills. That uh, takes four years. So I did an apprenticeship as mechanic and after that I did some further engineering, engineering education at the university. So then again, after, you, after this uh, engineering education was completed, I was working for the watch industry, very much into micromechanics. I re was responsible for prototyping, build complete watch movements from scratch, every single part. So my job was to manufacture these parts that have been used um, for the prototypes. In those days, I was still active in doing music. I worked uh, some percentage, 10, 15 percentage, uh, percentage as music teacher. And my great dream of uh, combining music and technology um, became a little bit uh, more reality when I produced a tone arm. That was the very first Thales tone arm, a tangential tracking tone arm. And of course, that was for me like combining my two passions, music and technology. So um, from these days, I always developed this product further. And 15 years ago, in 2008, I founded High Fiction AG. And in the very beginning, we produced tone arms only, tangential PVD tone arms, the Thales. A couple years later, I introduced a turntable matching my tone arms that is called TTT, Thales Turntable. The main feature of these turntables is that they all run on batteries. So we had like a turntable tone arm portfolio. Um, at the same time, when I founded High Fiction AG, I got in contact with uh, Jules Limon. He was the owner then of uh, EMT, running EMT cartridge uh, manufacturing in Germany. And we all knew that the team in Germany will get retired um, in 2014. So very early, Jules was looking for a um, possibility, how can we do the generation change? And um, it was uh, very interesting for us, of course, to enter the cartridge technology, cartridge business, cartridge manufacturing. So um, we decided to take over EMT um, cartridge production and that was executed in 2014. A little later, we also took over EMT business um, step by step and we try, or we, it's our focus, to, um, to have this long-lasting brand still active and to make new products and to keep it um, um, attractive for the, for the hi-fi and EMT fans. A couple years ago, when I was even more involved in cartridge business in uh, in the technology, I'm, I'm really impressed in how it can be possible to achieve such a good result with a mechanical tracking system like an MC cartridges. So those days I um, put some more ideas into reality with the exquisite cartridge line that is um, uh, our top of the line high-end cartridge product and consists of three different products now. I think the main reason why, um, why I can do many different products or, or um, um, a lot of engineering design is um, that I'm really, really passionate about technology and music and in this specific field, especially in micro technology. So I love micro mechanics. I still love uh, music a lot. And that 
I would say is the ideal, ideal um, support to make it possible to be always very interested in all these kind of uh, vinyl products. In the meantime, we got a lot of knowledge in here. We have 15 people working for us, all uh, very well skilled in what they are doing. And we are doing a lot of um, um, OEM products as well. So we do designing and also manufacturing for other audio brands. And we still do some research development projects for the watch industry. When I started in audio business, I was uh, a lot involved in uh, watch movement development. And those days uh, very much into uh, micromechanics as well. So my main idea was to combine the advantages of a traditional pivoted tone arm, as everyone knows, uh, to combine these advantages with a tangential tracking tone arm. So to build a pivoted tone arm that does a tangential tracking. The solution, what we are producing since 2005, is a tone arm that has a variable offset angle. So that means while the tone arm is tracking along the record, the offset angle that is usually fixed with a pivoted tone arm is not fixed but changes, the offset changes its value. So that means we can achieve tangential tracking all over the record surface. The key technology, um, as you can imagine, is the bearings, because the bearings are quite critical. We have uh, more bearing points than with a traditional pivoted tone arm. So the bearings must be very, very rigid, but at the same time, very um, frictionless, so that we have uh, easy going movement um, without any backlash. EMT means Elektromess Technik. In English, that means electric measurement technology. And this is a brand more than 80 years old, very famous in broadcast um, turntables. They built broadcast turntables, tone arms, and cartridges. The challenge uh, when we took over EMT in 2014 was how to develop these products further so that we can improve the sound quality by at the same time um, it's very important to respect the history and to take care on the very long tradition. I give an example here. This is the famous Tone Dose TST15 that run on broadcast turntables since 1985 with a SFL version. Um, the original TSD featured a magnesium housing, a separate um, holder for the magnet and the generator. Now, to improve this technology, we had to identify the weak points connection points, for example, resonance behavior, and we had to transfer this into a more modern product. As a result, you can see here the follower, the successor of this old TSD. Its, um, its design is more based on even older uh, EMT products. We still use uh, magnesium housing, so Nowadays, the magnesium housing is milled from a solid blocks. You can see this black part here. That is uh, um, uh, full magnesium housing. And the generator is clamped into this housing without any, um, any vertical screws. So that means we could improve the dynamics of this cartridge and at the same time respect the long EMT history by, by keeping the main design and by respecting all the specs. So even this new T15 
TSD has exactly the same white as the old one. We took over the production of EMT cartridge 10 years ago and while producing uh, thousands of cartridges I got a lot involved into cartridge design into let's say all the critical points of uh, cartridge um, tracking technology and this um, guided me to an idea um, that become, became reality in 2020. Um, it's a very unique transducer technology. In general, each uh, transducer is made of several parts. So that means even the parts that are moving are um, glued together or clamped together, crimped together. And my goal was to have one piece only, so the cantilever, the coil former, they both together are made of a monoblock ceramic part. And the result was um, transferred to a new product line called Exquisite. So we have the Exquisite cartridges with their monoblock transducer, a large magnet, and several possibilities for the coil. You can get a copper coil, silver or even gold coil. We have different uh, options uh, for the housing and all they have in common that they feature the new ceramic transducer that reduces the distortion on the tracking at the tracking point to an absolute minimum.